38 yards through the air. 15-year veteran. Throws it on third and 10. Lofts it. Tipped and intercepted. Devin McCourty with the pick. Patriots take over. A tremendous play by Gilmore as he keeps uh, Parker from that ball. The reaction by McCourty. And another big play by the defense. But look how high Gilmore had to go with his right hand to knock that ball away from Parker. 23rd career INT for the 10-year veteran. McCourty voted team captain for the ninth time. Yeah, Crusher losing his head in that moment after the brilliant play. Fitzpatrick, a dart, knocked away. Try to get it to Preston Williams. Stefan Gilmore, one of the best at his position in the league, makes the play for New England. Two-time pro bowler. Gilmore said that defensively they felt good about what they did in training camp. They were just excited to go up against somebody else last week. He's actually playing right guard at camp. He's now the starter at left tackle. Fitzpatrick sprint out. Intercepted. And good by Stephon Gilmore. Touchdown on a pick six. And he burned his former teammate in Buffalo, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Well, that's his 19th career interception and the first time he's taking one back for a touchdown. Never throw late over the middle, exactly what Fitzpatrick did, trying to get the ball into Parker and Gilmore with a second huge play that results in an interception. This one results in a pick six. Stephon Gilmore. Highly skilled. They signed him to the five-year, $65 million deal. Second down and seven. Pass is high in the air and picked. Simon is back there to grab it out of the air and an early takeaway for this Patriots defense. Well, that's where this Patriots defense has been opportunistic. I mean, they take advantage of the chances that they get. There is a flag on the field. You can see the spacing. You've got Golden no Tate on the blind side block. So no foul. And on the tip, there's John Simon with his first pick of the year. Yeah, the spacing that they have between Golden Tate and then Red Ellison. It's a throw that's behind him, but. It's a tough throw for any quarterback to make to try to navigate a tight end who's in the middle of your throwing lane. Third and five. Quick throw and nearly picked by Gilmore. Opponents are now eight for 64 on third downs against this New England defense. And they're fortunate the Giants are that they get to punt here on fourth down. Stephon Gilmore, he just reads this the entire way. You've got Daniel Jones dropping back. He's looking it up immediately. It's a slant route. And he was there well before the ball arrived. <laughs> Pass is picked by Gilmore. And that is number three for Daniel Jones. Well, just not a good read by Daniel Jones. The, there was safety help. So you've got underneath coverage. You can see he cheats over this way, and he just does not read it. He thinks it's single coverage on the outside, or he loses sight of the corner, thinking that he can then just drop that in. Gilmore, there for the Patriots. Here's the safety right here, Deron Harmon, and you're going to see the pre-snap read. They disguise it. So then he goes over the top. The corner, Stephon Gilmore, he knows that he has safety help, so he's able to stay underneath. He doesn't have to go anywhere. And you can see that Daniel Jones just never locates the safety after the snap. Looks like their final play with the wind on offense for the Giants, and it's broken up. 
Gilmore in coverage on the rookie Darius Slayton. And it's fourth down. The punt team will come on for the Giants. Yeah, just just a lot of tight coverage. Uh, Jocelyn at, at the top of that route, a little contact there. I personally like the no call. Mike, what do you think? Exactly. This tight coverage timed it perfectly. Did not significantly hinder the receiver. No flag thrown on that. When the umpire was looking right at it. Here's one down the sideline. Broken up. Great coverage by Gilmore on Slayton. He's an all pro out there on the edge. Stefan Gilmore. And he shows you why. Yeah, he's awfully good. The entire secondary is. Got the ability. There's a chance, but Gilmore comes in and, and you know he has it. Slayton has it right there. Punches it out. It's great work. Great yeah. ball skills right there. And so the Giants turn it over on downs. But another perfectly thrown ball by by Daniel Jones, putting it up there where, where Slayton has a chance to go up and get it. That's good coverage and good ball placement that beats good coverage. But ultimately, I'd like a better to... play by Gilmore to to knock it out. Running down, they let him get it off. Pressure off the edge. Floater and another interception. And it's Gilmore. And here's the return. As McCourty had the pressure coming in on Darnold, he floated it and Gilmore feasted on it. They just don't stop. This Patriots defense does it again. So we're going to see Hightower come. He's going to attract number 75, Udoga. Now McCourty comes off the edge. That's how he gets free. But Sam Darnold right now, he just throws it up. He, if you're going to make this throw, you have to throw it toward the center of the field. But Sam Darnold doesn't do it. But watch him off his back foot, leaning back. I mean, he's made two terrible throws tonight, and they've both been picked. Here's a third and 13. It feels pass almost intercepted. Gilmore knows he could have had it, which would have been his fourth of the season. Well, this is a not a decision you want to make here. I think he thinks Gilmore is guarding Beckham and he falls off. He's waiting right there, and that should have been intercepted going the other way. Fortunate by Baker Mayfield. That that actually didn't turn into points, really, to go in the other way. And that's an Achilles heel or something they can stop the next week. Rushing four on third and eight. Wits his pass. And there is no flag. As Gilmore was on the coverage, Matthews was the target. I mean, Gilmore does as good a job as I see anyone down the field looking at the quarterback, diving, keeping his usually his backhand off of you a little bit, and then reaching with a front hand. He makes more plays defense down the field than anybody. High snap. Prescott caught it. Pass is picked. Intercepted by New England and Stephon Gilmore. We talked about this matchup coming in. Starts with a bad snap. That's very disturbing for a quarterback when you got to take your eyes off the field, but Still yet, Gilmore is in man coverage. These are hard things to cover for a, for a defensive back when you've got man coverage and a good receiver with speed running across the field. Gilmore has every bit the same amount of speed as Amari Cooper. A ball thrown behind, and once again, the Patriots take advantage of. Prescott throws, end zone, oh. broken up. Witten the target. Patrick Chung was back there defending and made that dive. Gilmore yep. went after the football and almost came up with it. Yeah, and this is why, this is how New England's different in their man coverage. Most of the time when teams are in man coverage, they're just locked on the man. And that's where it basically ends. But for these guys, they're still able to have eyes on the quarterback. So for a team that plays so much man coverage, they're still able to create the interceptions. Typically, most interceptions come in zone coverages. But Gilmore, because he's Clue and Prescott, he almost makes a big play. Go to block everyone up, take our shot. There's the shot. And Watkins unable to bring it down. Back shoulder throw was there. 
It was a perfect throw. Watkins got a hand. Gilmore plays it really well, usually at the top. But there's a flag on the play, I believe. Yep, line of scrimmage far side. And pre-snap penalty against the Chiefs. Illegal formation. Offense. The tackle was left uncovered. That pulled his decline. Fourth down. Well, that means the tackle left uncovered. Someone on the top of the screen has to be on the line of scrimmage. And everyone was off the line. You need seven guys on. And you... Dalton. And it's incomplete. Was looking for Erickson. And Gilmore had tight coverage for the Patriots. When you run a quick slant like Erickson did, you cannot stop as you start to come inside. Boom, he works inside, and then he just doesn't have enough momentum to run away from Gilmore. Gilmore, great change of direction, great length, great strength. You know, one of the top guys in the league at his position, if not the top guy. That matchup that he's going up against. Dalton was looking for him here. Gilmore picks it off, and what a catch that was. Fifth interception of the season for Stefan Gilmore, and that was a beauty for the corner. Gilmore was asked, I think it was this week or maybe even last week, if he could help the Patriots out at receiver. He said, well, I'll do whatever they ask me to do. I'm looking at that body control. There's one arm behind the guy he's covering, and then he catches the ball in the right pocket. Just a tremendous play by Gilmore. I talked about his length. His ability to be willing to play tight coverage. And I think he has the respect of officials around the league where he's so tight in coverage, they're not calling him for a lot of ticky tack foul. On first and 15, Dalton picked off. Gilmore down the sideline. See you later. Touchdown, New England. Second pick of the day for Stefan Gilmore. back weeks with a pick six by Andy Dalton when you understand pass rush you can also anticipate at the other end Gilmore is looking at his defensive alignment knowing that they look like they're going to pressure Andy Dalton and he knows that Andy Dalton is going to have to get rid of the ball a little earlier than what he would like to that ball thrown a little late behind Tyler Boyd and Gilmore there just to take it to the house. The New England defense now has five touchdowns this season. Three pick sixes, two on fumble returns, and the extra point is good. Second career pick six for Gilmore, and it's 27 to 10. A pick six for Bleedy Ray Wilson, but Dalton went up to get it. Dalton throwing here and nearly intercepted for a third time by Stephon Gilmore. Hey, he threw that one on the line just a little too much because Boyd had a step on Gilmore. So throw that ball to the back pylon. Don't throw it on a line where Gilmore has a chance to go up and high point it and take it away from Boyd. Back to Sanu, though. You've got to think at some point the Patriots will break out his arm because they know what they've got. A lot about a franchise on the comeback and on the rise. Can they do it in this spot? Allen the slant. Terrific coverage by Gilmore. Brown wants a flag. There is none. The battle of the top receiver in the top corner. Well, he loves to play tight man-to-man -man coverage. He'll speed release to the outside, but there is no separation, even the right hand on the hip. That's what John Brown saying. Hey, he pulled me a little bit. Give me a flag, but great coverage by Stephon Gilmore. Fitzpatrick down this sideline. It is incomplete. Intended for Parker, covered by Gilmore. A little hand-to-hand -hand combat down the sideline. Well, and they've had some success. Parker's ended up with a, a couple receptions and in, in taking advantage of that. And Gilmore, this time in blanketed coverage. Yes, there's hand fighting back and forth. I think it's a good no call. Both both players are, are using their hands, using their arms, getting some extension. Gilmore wins on that one. 